Good evening. Good evening or please, please stand for tonight's national anthem. This year, the national anthem will be performed by Amelia Baldwin, a graduating senior at Gloversville High School. Stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the Snyder, Associate Provost for Academic and Student Affairs at Fulton Montgomery Community College. It is my pleasure to introduce the members of the platform party. <clears throat> Starting with the members of the Fulton Montgomery Community College Board of Trustees. Chair Bethany Schumann McGee, Esquire. Vice Chair, Edmund Jaswitz. <clears throat> Wendy Perry. <clears throat> Jeff Peck. <clears throat> James Landrio. <clears throat> Roberta Winsman. <clears throat> Taibei Ghazi Mogadam. And student trustee, Evan Zowitsky. Addition, additional members of the platform party include the chairman of the Montgomery County Le Legislature, Robert Pertell. The chairman of the Fulton County Board of Supervisors, Scott Horton. Chairman of the Foundation of Fulton Montgomery Community College, Bill Winsman. The Provost and Vice President for Academic and Student Affairs, Diana Putnam. Our student speaker, John Pertell. And the President, of Fulton Montgomery Community College, Dr. Greg Truckemiller. <laughs> Dr. Truckemiller will now deliver a few welcoming remarks. Members of the Board of Trustees, honored guests, faculty, staff, and most importantly, members of the class of 2023. Good evening and welcome to Fulton Montgomery Community College's 58th annual commencement exercises. As we begin, I'd like to recognize some of our guests who are longtime friends to FMCC. I'm pleased to introduce these honored guests who are attending tonight. Mr. Pierre Ulrich, Mr. John Blackman, 
Dr. Mo Ghazi, Mr. Brent Fetaplace, and Mr. Del Salmon. My thanks to each of you for attending tonight and for your continued support of FMCC. I would like to, yes, please. I would like to thank the Board of Trustees for their dedication to the college and to our students. Your guidance has made FMCC the excellent institution of higher education that it is today. I also wish to thank the directors of the FMCC Foundation. They have contributed their time and efforts through numerous fundraising activities to support our campus and our students. To our faculty and staff, Thank you for your dedication to our students. FMCC has earned its reputation for quality and caring as a result of your focus on student success. Students, these are the faculty and staff who have taught you, guided you, and counseled you during your pursuit of a college education. I know that you will remember them and their effect on your lives long into the future. Would the members of the faculty and staff of FMCC stand and be recognized? Now I'd like to extend a special welcome to the parents, grandparents, wives, husbands, significant others, and children of the graduating class of 2023. Attaining a college degree takes a lot of hard work and long hours, but equally important is the support of the families and friends who provide encouragement. Class of 2023, please rise and give your families and friends the recognition they deserve for supporting you. Today marks a significant milestone in your lives, a moment of triumph and celebration. As we gather here to honor your achievement, I'm reminded of the extraordinary power of hope. Hope is the driving force that propels us forward, ignites our spirits, and paves the way for a brighter future. Hope is likely what brought you to FMCC in the first place. That hope likely started as a big thing, such as the desire for a pathway to a career or to start your educational journey. After you began your studies, that hope likely represented smaller, more immediate things, as in, I hope I did that assignment correctly, or I hope I'm not late for class. Today, that hope has carried you through your educational program and has now motivated you for the next phase of your life. Now, I've dedicated most of my career working in higher education, so I have definite opinions on why what we do at FMCC is important. I now want to share some thoughts about the importance of education from others outside the field. Nelson Mandela, Nobel Peace Prize recipient and South African politician, once stated, education is the most powerful weapon which you can use to change the world. Now, these profound words echo the sentiment that education is not merely a means to personal success, but a catalyst for positive change in society. Your education has equipped you with the knowledge and skills to tackle the challenges of the world. And with this power, you have the ability to make a difference, to create a better tomorrow. Now, Maya Angelou, the renowned poet said that education helps one cease being intimidated by strange situations. Higher education expands our horizons. It exposes us to diverse perspectives and nurtures our ability to adapt and thrive in unfamiliar circumstances. Embrace the knowledge that you have gained here for it has equipped you with the resilience and the confidence to face any challenge that may come your way. Albert Einstein, one of the greatest scientific minds in history, once remarked 
The important thing is not to stop questioning. Education is not merely about acquiring knowledge or information. It's about asking the right questions, challenging established notions, and seeking innovative solutions. Let Einstein's words remind you that knowledge is not static, but ever evolving. And your thirst for learning must remain insatiable. Theodore Roosevelt, the 26th president of the United States once said, believe you can and you're halfway there. Higher education instills within us the belief that we can make a difference, that we possess the power to shape our destiny and contribute to the world around us. Embrace Roosevelt's words as a reminder that self-belief and determination are vital ingredients for success. As you venture forth into the world armed with the knowledge and values imparted to you during your time at FMCC, remember that hope, curiosity, questioning, and self-belief will guide you on your journey. Higher education has bestowed upon you the tools to navigate the challenges that lie ahead and make a positive impact on our society. May you carry the flame of hope within you as you face the uncertainties of life. May you remain steadfast in your pursuit of knowledge, continually questioning and seeking truth. And may you always trust in your abilities, knowing that you have the power to make a difference. You are the embodiment of hope, the torchbearers of knowledge and the builders of a brighter future. As you step forward into the world, remember that your education does not end here, but rather serves as a stepping stone towards lifelong learning and growth. May your journey be filled with endless possibilities and extraordinary achievements. Congratulations, class of 2023. Thank you, Dr. Truck and Miller. Now I would like to invite the chair of the foundation of Fault Montgomery Community College, Bill Winsman, to say a few words. Dear graduates, esteemed guests, faculty and staff, I am Bill Winsman, Chairman of the FMCC Foundation and, cl and FM Class of 1987. It is with great honor and joy that I extend my congratulations to the graduating class of 2023. This is a monumentous occasion, the culmination of years of hard work, dedication, and perseverance. You have all worked tirelessly to achieve this goal and it is a testament to your resilience and unwavering commitment. 36 years ago tonight, I was sitting in your seat as I graduated from FM. I remember the feelings of both excitement and nervousness as you look forward to what comes next in your life. The world we live in today is deeply complex and presents us with an array of challenges that require innovative and collaborative solutions. As you head out into the next phase of your life, it is essential that you carry with you not only an appreciation for the education and knowledge that you acquired at FMCC, but also a deep sense of humanity and connection to the larger community. I encourage you to live your life with integrity. At its core, integrity means doing what is right, even when it is difficult or unpopular. It involves being transparent and truthful in all, all interactions and maintaining a consistent moral code. Integrity is also about taking personal responsibility for our actions, being accountable for our mistakes and working to make things right when we've done something wrong. Building integrity requires a daily commitment to living by our values and principles. It means being open and honest with us and others, even when it is difficult. It means taking the time to reflect on our actions and decisions and doing what we can to ensure that we are making the right choices. In today's world, integrity is more important than ever. With so many conflicting messages and values being presented, it can be easy to lose sight of what is truly important. 
But when we stay committed to living with integrity, we set an example for others and contribute to a more positive and ethical world. I'd like to offer some advice that I borrowed from best-selling author and life coach Anthony Robbins. Three basic points. Number one, focus on what you have, not what you want. Two, focus on what you can control, not on things you cannot control. And thirdly, focus your mind on the future, not the past. As I mentioned earlier, I am the chair of the FMCC Foundation. Many of you may not be familiar with what the foundation does. The FM Foundation is made up of a group of community-spirited individuals who share a love for FMCC. The foundation is the fundraising arm of the college, which raises money for scholarships as well as physical improvements to the campus. I would encourage all of you to consider supporting the FM Foundation. There are many ways you can support our foundation. You can attend one of our events like our annual golf tournament or our distinguished alumni dinner. You can donate or consider establishing a scholarship to honor a loved one. Over the past decade, my wife and I have become somewhat philanthropic and it has brought much joy to our lives. I will finish with one of my favorite quotes by John D. Rockefeller. It is a mistake to assume that the possession of money in great abundance brings happiness. Pleasure comes not from the possession of money, but from the ability to do things for others which brings satisfaction. Once again, on behalf of the FMCC Foundation, I can congratulate each and every one of you on this important milestone. Thank you, Chairman Winsman. Our student speaker tonight is John Pertell. John is a resident of Northville and has earned an excellence in computer science micro-credential and an AS in computer science. He has been awarded the Distinguished Graduate for Computer Science AS and received the FACE Scholarship for graduating and transferring students. John has been on the Dean's List for the past four semesters and is graduating with a 3.88 GPA. He is also a member of the Phi Theta Kappa, Kappa Honor Society. He attend, intends to continue his education at SUNY Polytechnic Institute in Utica with the goal of pursuing a bachelor's degree in computer science. John plans to work in the field of software engineering. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome John Pertell. Dr. Truckenmiller, distinguished guests, members of the Board of Trustees, parents, faculty, friends, and of course, the class of 2023. It is an honor to stand here before you as we celebrate our many achievements. As we look back on our time at FM, we can be proud of all that we have accomplished. We have faced unprecedented challenges which brought about numerous changes, including face masks, quarantines, and remote learning. But we, and everyone here tonight, have demonstrated remarkable resilience and perseverance in the face of such adversity. I remember my first class I attended here at FM. I remember all the new people and personalities around me. The pandemic mandates made it difficult to collaborate with friends and fit in socially. Eventually, after a while, the mask mandates were lifted. I and many others got to meet the same people, but with new faces. I witnessed changes across campus as students slowly began to form new bonds that may last a lifetime. Although it may have been tough, we have all emerged from this experience stronger, more confident, and more determined than ever before. As we look ahead to the future, we must recognize that today is just the beginning of a new journey. And on this journey, we are equipped with the skills, knowledge, and experiences to make a meaningful change in this world. This will allow us to push ourselves towards new heights as we seize the opportunities that lie ahead. So yes, this journey will undoubtedly present its own set of challenges, but we are ready to embrace them with open hearts and minds with effort, which will be the driving force behind our future accomplishments. At FM, we have also learned it is not just about working hard, but also about being intentional 
and disciplined in our actions. Whether it be through late night study sessions, campus involvement, or community service, we have seen firsthand how putting in the effort can lead to great things. As a peer tutor on campus, I have witnessed what it means when a student truly puts in effort into their assignments. I have found that the amount of effort a student has invested in is proportional to how well their final grades will be. For example, I remember helping an international student who struggled with completing her work. After working with her, she finally put in effort and saw significant academic changes. 97% grades on assignments were just not enough. She always needed a 100. This complete change in attitude is how she went from a D to an A in about eight weeks. So as we move forward into the next chapter of our lives, let this example re remind us the importance of effort so that we may continue to carry it with us on our road ahead. However, we must also prioritize the importance of balance. While striving for success, we must not forget to take care of ourselves, both physically and mentally. If we fail to find this balance, we will suffer from exhaustion. For example, I remember the first time studying for my final exams. I studied nonstop and worked very hard, thinking it will improve my grades. Through all the hard work, I found myself burnt out. The final exam was right in front of me, and I could not recall simple concepts I mastered the night before. I would have been way better off with a good night's rest. I found that success does not only come from working hard, but also comes from taking care of ourselves. Therefore, let us remember the value of balance as we continue our journey and work towards achieving success. So as we take this important step forward, let us remember the lessons we have learned and the challenges we have overcome. As we prepare to embark on the next chapter of our lives, we should take our memories we have made at FM and use them to fuel our passion for growth and progress. We must not leave our effort and hard work behind us as we continue to strive towards success. So on this, thank you to all who have helped us at FM. Thank you to our parents. Thank you to our family. Thank you to our friends. Thank you to our community. And of course, congratulations to the class of 2023 and best of luck in all your future endeavors. Thank you, John. The Chancellor's Award for Excellence in Teaching is bestowed by the State University of New York in recognition of superb classroom performance. At this time, I would like to invite the Chair of the Chancellor's Award Committee, Dr. Paula Brown Weinstock, Professor of Social Sciences, and this year's Chancellor Award recipient for Excellence in Teaching, Dr. Anya Beal, Assistant Professor of History, to join President Truckenmiller on the platform. Good evening. It is my privilege to not only be here tonight to celebrate the class of 2023, congratulations to all of you, but also to celebrate Dr. Anya Beal, this year's recipient of the Chancellor's Award for Excellence in Teaching. Assistant Professor Dr. Anya Beal joined the FMCC community in 2010 as a history instructor in the Social Science Department and has taught a variety of courses over the years, including Western Civilization, World Civilization, Survey of American History, as well as special topics such as elementary Russian, history of Russia, and African American history, and she's done them in a variety of different formats. Dr. Beal is known for her ability to ignite an enthusiasm and inquisitiveness for learning history through her passionate and creative storytelling. In addition to ensuring that students learn historical facts and she places great emphasis on the significance of these events, their causal relationships, and the impact on humanity then and now and on the overall trajectory of history. Dr. Beale seals one of her primary goals as a history professor is to help students develop their critical thinking skills, and she encourages intellectual open-mindedness. She often quotes Margaret Mead, who said, children must be taught how to think, not what to think. As a teacher of history, Dr. Beale attaches special importance to students' tolerance of and respect for the cultural diversity of the world community in general and the college community. 
She strives to make her courses culture-centered and encourages her students to view their unique social, ethnic, and cultural background as an asset from which everyone in the classroom can benefit. In addition to being an exemplary history professor, Dr. Beal has been the Phi Theta Kappa National Honor Society for Community College Students co-advisor since 2015, and you would be hard pressed to find someone on campus who is more generous with their personal time or demonstrates a higher concern for the intellectual growth of our students. The PTK chapter on the FMCC campus is a shining star that has brought many accolades to our campus and has offered an invaluable experience for students to challenge themselves intellectually and build community while giving back to their community. Since Dr. Beal has served as an advisor, the FMCC PTK chapter has earned numerous awards and Dr. Beal herself has received multiple awards, including the Paragon Advisor Award, the Distinguished PTK Advisor Award, the Five Star Advisor Award, and most recently, the Horizon Award for the Most Outstanding Advisor Team of the New York Region. For her excellence in teaching and her unselfish dedication to the enriching the lives of our students, Fulton Montgomery Community College is proud to present Dr. Anya Beal with the SUNY Chancellor's Award for Excellence in Teaching. Congratulations to our Chancellor's Award recipient, for Excellence in Teaching, Dr. Anya Beal. Will the class of 2023 please rise? At this time, will Chairperson Schumann McGee please join me at the podium? Chairperson Schumann McGee, I present to you the class of 2023. They have completed courses of study prescribed by the college. They are therefore qualified as candidates for the degrees of Associate in Arts, Associate in Science, Associate in Applied Science, Associate in Occupational Studies, and Certificates. On behalf of the Board of Trustees and by the power vested in me by the State of New York, and the Board of Supervisors of Fulton County and the Montgomery County Legislature, I hereby accept these qualified students before me as candidates to the degrees of Associate in Arts, Associates in Science, Associate in Applied Science, Associate in Occupational Studies, and Certificates. Candidates, please follow the direction of the marshals, and as your name is called, please come forward to the platform. We kindly request that applause be held until all candidates have returned to their seats. John Bertel. Evan Sawinski. Aguirre. <laughs> Anthony Albanese. Marcus Allen. Amanda Aminat.
Kayla and Peter. Madeline Avery. Noah Bean. Jewel Berkowitz Reyes. Brady Brunell. Brandon Buano. Andrew Bauer. Joseph Batisti. Edna Binga. Alexis Fitz. Shanna Bliss. China Cadet. Deborah Calhoun. Jaden Carey Van Ostrand. Francesca Cadena. Farmorla Cisek. Brayden Dutcher. Griffin Donovan. Sariki Tumbia. <laughs> Belton Dos Reyes. Isabella Dillon.
Jose de Oliveira. Sabia Eaton. Victoria Eves. Yvette Espinoza. Alexandra Feller. Colin Berlito. Edward Laherty. Rhiannon Davis Raylan. J.D. Francisco. Tian Ting Gao. Benny Garcia Cruz. Raul Garcia Sanchez. Cadence Gitchell. Leo Yako Aru Adrina Gregorian Nicholas Hancock. Sophia Pinsel. <laughs> Madison Huskar. <laughs> Colin Ippolito. Caitlin Jacobs. Maya Jones. Caitlin Lair. Ryan 
Lopez. Sanendai Badnagar. Alexandros Kotsi Dimitriopo. Emily Kinchlow. Meryl Bogey. Samuel Levi. Trevor Blair. Malik Moncrief. Richard Mancini. Crystal McSpirit. Mercedes Lugo. Daryl Cavaselli. <laughs> Yen Win. Christina Peru. Emily Peterson. Jack Preston. Paul Ricky. Alexis Rodriguez. Dwight Rose. Jane Brooklyn. Janice Roman. Angel Sanchez. Musa Sanova. Yuka Shimizu. Donovan Smith.
Jacob Smith. Emily's diploma will be presented by her mother, Associate Dean of Student Affairs and International Partnerships, Arlene Spencer. Emily Spencer. Collins diploma will be presented by his father, Assistant Professor Dr. Mark Swain. Colin Swain. Haley Thompson. Aina Pierce. Zachariah Ture. Joshua Ulrich. I feel like a hug. <laughs> Yeah, why not? <laughs> Tony Valdez. <laughs> Jenna Weaver. <laughs> Josh Wilder. Tenkun Su. Lucas Zoga. Alicia Zarita Pena. Ethan Flood. Abigail Brown. Jaden Chess. The following PTEC graduates are earning their associate's degree along with their high school diploma. Patrick Clements. Alexander Swaikala. Brooke Delgado. Kirsten Draper. Blues Fox. Olivia Jones. Giovanni Kane. William Lander the third. Hannah Maxson. Jacob McGonville. Ryan Moore.
Caitlin Nash. Alexandria Rouse. Kiera Rowland. Ashley's diploma will be presented by her grandmother, Principal Clerk Deborah Shen. Ashley Shen. Benjamin Rogan. Nicole Wendowski. Lilia White. Cindy Yates. <laughs> Along with their diplomas, the following radiologic technology graduates received their New York State license to practice radiologic technology. <laughs> Jessica Fortell. Heidi Jo Iwano. <laughs> Gabriella Dance. <laughs> Brittany Davis. Elvira Fountain. Matthew Harris. Andrew Knopf. Sierra Lopez. Stephen Meyer. Jasmine Hoshtel. <laughs> Hannah Ryder. <laughs> Melissa Schneiderman. Randy Spraker. Shauna Thorington. Brittany 
Giovanni Barham. Julie Benoit. Devin Caruso. Jennifer Cisse. Morgan Colbert. Mackenzie Desbian. Gabrielle Langley. Marjorie Logan. Molly Memory. Jessica Osgood. Stacy Tessero. Amaya Vanoskis. Alexandra Visco.
audience, thank you for joining us tonight. We request that you stand at this time, but remain at your seats while the platform party, professional staff, and the graduates exit. Please join us on the quad for a reception. Will the candidates please rise? At this time, candidates, please move your tassel from right to left. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the class of 2023.